Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In this video, I am going to consider one very interesting, challenging and looking hard rational equation today in this video. Equation is x square plus x plus 2 over x cube plus x minus 2 whole square plus x square minus x minus 2 over x cube minus 3x minus 2 whole square equal to 2. We have to find out all real solutions. So let's get started by writing domain. Denominator cannot be 0. So I will frame only two equations x cube plus x minus 2 can't be 0. So we will examine those x values which is making our denominator 0. And x cube minus 3x minus 2 that is our second denominator not 0. So we will eliminate those x solutions which is making our denominator 0. Now I will consider our first denominator x cube plus x minus 2 in this page and you will see two methods to find out factorization or find out solution of this cubic equation. Method number 1. I will consider factorization. So let me write here factorization. And second method I will use SDM method. Synthetic division method. So let me write first one the factorization x cube then I will write one manipulation minus x square. So I will write over there plus x square also plus x minus 2. From first two term I can take x square common. So x minus 1 would be left in the bracket. From last three terms you can see it is quadratic equation. So you can split again x square minus x plus 2x minus 2. So again from here I can take x common x minus 1 and 2 common x minus 1 and first term you can see it is x square times x minus 1. So completely I will take x minus 1 common so it would be left x square plus x plus 2 and you can see your numerator is x square plus x plus 2. So it is looking only tough. Equation was simple. Now second method. I will use SDM method. x cube plus x minus 2. You can see if I will put equal to 0. Then by putting x is equal to 1. Rational root theorem. So 1 plus 1 minus 2. Yes it is 0. So x is equal to 1 is our base solution. I will write all the coefficients of cubic equation. 1, 0, 1 minus 2 and then I will use synthetic division method. Leading coefficient 1, 1 times 1, 1, 1, 1 times 1, 1, 2, 1 times 2, 2, 0. So here we are getting coefficient for quadratic equation x square plus x plus 2 and if I will write this base solution in terms of factor then it is x minus 1 which is matching with the first solution as you can see. Now if I will talk about the exempted value, the domain. So x cannot be C from this equation. If you will factorize, then you will write over there. These are our factors. x minus 1 times x square plus x plus 2. So if I will see this one, then discriminant if you will see 1 e square b square minus 4ac. So minus 8. It is coming out negative complex solution. So no need to worry about only x cannot be 1 from equation 1. Now come to equation number 2 which is our second den denominator. And remember this factorization we will put at last. Let us consider the second denominator of the rational equation. x cube minus 3x minus 2. Now again we will take up two methods. First method is using factorization. Let's consider manipulation method. I will add x square and I will subtract also in factorization method and remaining terms as it is 3x minus 2. From first two term you can see we can consider x square common. So what would be left x plus 1. Now remaining terms if I will take minus common then I will write x square plus 3x plus 2. Simply I can see our factors also x square x plus 1 minus here I will write x plus 1 
times x plus 2 check x times x x square 2x plus 1x 3x 1 times 2 is 2 now you can see x plus 1 is common once you will take x plus 1 common x square minus x minus 2 would be left in the second bracket now if i will simplify or i will apply let us apply shidrachar formula minus b 1 plus minus under the root b square so minus 1 square is 1 minus 4 ac so plus 8 divided by 2a why i am calculating this to exempt to get the information about domain 1 plus minus 3 over 2 so two values are there first one 4 over 2 2 minus 2 over 2 minus 1 so these values as per domain see this cannot be 0 na. so i will write x cannot be 2 and x cannot be negative 1 and first exemption was x cannot be equal to 1 remember this one now sdm method i will write our equation first x cube minus 3x minus 2 equal to 0 you can see easily x is equal to minus 1 is our solution minus 1 let me put minus 1 cube minus 1 plus 3 minus 2 you can cancel yes it is true that means x is equal to minus 1 is our base solution or x plus 1 is one factor okay so i will write all the coefficient for cubic 1 0 minus 3 minus 2 put one line over there leading coefficient as it is 1 minus 1 times 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 times minus 1 1 minus 2 minus 1 times minus 2 2 0 so coefficient for quadratic x square minus x minus 2 equal to 0 if you will solve you will get to know about see this already calculated x is equal to 2 and minus 1 so factorization is done let me write this factorization overall x cube minus 3x minus 2 it is equal to x plus 1 times x square minus x minus 2 and first denominator we have already calculated let us put the values i will write see here I will write x square plus x plus 2 over denominator was x plus 1 it was x plus 1 x minus 1 x square plus x plus 2 second x square minus x minus 2 over x plus 1 x square minus x minus 2 and then i will consider whole square both sides means both terms and equal to 0 now you can cancel these two terms see this was the basics of fundamental of rational equation if you can factorize you can cancel it immediately by writing over their exempted value now i can consider 1 over x minus 1 whole square plus 1 over x plus 1 whole square equal to 2. Now equation is simple. I will take LCM. I will write x plus 1 whole square plus x minus 1 whole square over x square minus 1 whole square equal to 2. Once you will expand a square plus b square, it is a plus b whole square minus 2ab or you can expand it let me expand i will write x square plus 1 plus 2x plus x square plus 1 minus 2x cancel this term over x square minus 1 whole square and equal to 2 so what is left that is 2 times x square plus 1 over the denominator equal to 2 let me write here 2 times x square plus 1 over x square minus 1 whole square equal to 2. Cancel both 2. So let me write cross multiplication 
x square plus 1 equal to x square minus 1 whole square. Now I can use substitution. So let us consider let x square is equal to suppose u. So I will write u plus 1 equal to u minus 1 whole square. So let me write in this manner u minus 1 whole square is equal to u plus 1. Expand it a square plus b square minus 2ab. Left hand side is done. Right hand side is u plus 1. So 1 1 again we will cancel. What is left? u square minus 3u equal to 0. Take u common u minus 3 equal to 0. So u will be 0 3. Now remember what is our u? u is x square. So I will write over there u in place of u we will write x square. So x square or let me write u equal to x square is equal to 0 and 3. Take a square root both sides. So x will be equal to 0 and plus minus a square root 3. So here we are having solutions and you can see if you will find out multiplicity 2 with 0. x is equal to 0 and x is equal to plus minus root 3. So overall 4 solutions 0 with have, will have multiplicity 2. Now let us verify this time. Let me write here x is equal to 0. Verification. And none of the value is our exempted domain list. You can check plus minus 1. That is not over there. And minus 3 were there. Okay. So let us verify x is equal to 0. Here I am going to put. So I will write 0 plus 0 plus 2. Let me write 0 plus 0 plus 2 over 0 plus 0 minus 2 whole square plus 0 minus 0 minus 2 over 0 minus 0 minus 2 whole square. So it will be minus 1 whole square plus 1 whole square which will give us 1 plus 1 which is ultimately 2 which is equal to RHS. Hence verified. Now I will consider the second value verification that is x is equal to, let me consider all together, plus minus root 3. How it would be? If you will substitute here, you will get to know about rationalization, everything will be there. Because we have simplified this equation and we got in between this is step. x square plus 1 equal to x square minus 1 whole square. So I will substitute here because of as you can see x square will be irrational free number because x is plus minus root 3. So let me substitute here instead of putting in the original equation. So x square minus 1 whole square. So I will write plus minus root 3 whole square plus 1 equal to plus minus root 3 whole square minus 1 whole square. So whether it is plus or minus root 3, it will be 3 plus 1 equal to 3 minus 1 whole square. Is this true? So 4 is equal to 2 whole square. 4 is equal to 4 verified. So our ultimate solution of this looking tough rational equation will be 0 and plus minus root 3. 0 will have multiplicity 2. I hope this video will be interesting for you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Take care of yourself friends. Bye.